those damn Persian drug laws. Yeah, you got to travel ultra light if you have any hope of making it across that de- 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 great salt desert in Persia. Be- <laughs> Dazed. Nuts. <laughs> okay. Um, he's bewitched by the shimmering uh, story painted and right in front of his eyes. Theatrical hippie. Uh, <sighs> he could use a drink. You know. Whack! Oh, Bay ambushes three flies simultaneously in a micro pool of orange spot gold. So the hippies slopped into this uh, little pool on the desk. Yeah. Well, they form a team the Bay Zod assassin team, Bay. White Zod OS, and let's bring in Nazim, the 12 year old son, and Room Boy, yeah. Mm-hmm. And together they work it, waiting for that late afternoon bus to come in, like uh, from Kandahar. They wait. Patient spiders. Bedford bus painted with, <laughs> it's so beautiful, mountain scenes, rivers. Animals, flowers, I mean, these are works of art. They could exhibit them at Burning Man in California and Nevada and win first prize with these trucks and buses. It's, they, when they enter that four kilometer colonnade of lovely pine trees that grace both sides of the road, coming in. From the Kandahar side, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they bank south around the Missoula of the mausoleum of Guher Shah, with its four minarets, yeah. These four, the giant minarets, uh, like skyscraper minarets, but they're tilting from centuries. <laughs> Weather, like, like a a giant Islamic genie bit the dust, and all you can see is four crooked, colossal fingers sticking out. <laughs> yeah, the bus banks around there, terminates the 550-kilometer ride across the desert in the desert of death, a dust swirl in the funky Harati bus station, mud-walled compound. Well, whence uh, the young Nazim was waiting in his uh, turquoise-beaded skull cap. Uh, he's looking for the people who've got the most stuff and are good looking too yeah. um, and uh, yeah he guides two disbarking hippies uh, who <laughs> fit that that profile uh, back to his dad's place and uh, the two freaks Arjuna and Hanuman and they're from uh, well yeah they've been in Earthistan too long you can't tell where they're from. Even rounding it up to Earth, I'd be guessing. Uh, well, uh, Nazim uh, guides the hippies upstairs and pulls the curtain aside in the room and greets the Zadu and gestures everyone to enter. And Arjuna says, Hey, man, uh, um, the owner said that this is the uh, missionary room. And we're 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 broke. Uh, we're trying to get back to Abisa and Formentera. And it's a long way to the Balearic Islands from here. And well, we cross into Iran tomorrow. Uh, well, the gracious uh, queen, she just couldn't be more welcoming. This is the free overflow room. Belongs to everybody. Yeah. Come on in. Uh, I'll, I'll make us a hula. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the sober reality, as she witnesses these freaks going through the head changes about going to Iran in the morning, leaving Earthistan. In entering the straight world, it makes a sad 
impression on her. And Delamore, you know. Well, <clears throat> they don't need the, the warm-up speech because uh, they're hip. They're, um, they shake out their blankets and Indian shoulder bags and carefully remove hashish from hems of clothes, cuffs, collars, pockets, and they give uh, this, uh, which would be contraband in Iran, to the first person they see. Um, oh, well, it happens to be the uh, white Zadu S. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, but she doesn't notice because she's applying uh, the coal eye makeup. Coal, K O H L. It's a black powder. And uh, you take a little wooden stick about the size of a matchstick, but smooth, or a toothpick, but no point. And you dip it in the black coal and you actually put it, carefully drag it across your eyeball, and then the eyelashes above and below become this mysterious, exotic. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so good. Mysterious eyeshadow which complements her new Hunza hairstyle. Well, I mean, Bay hinted that uh, with the calls, she'd come off more exotic and uh, uh, to highlight uh, her Sandy, uh, while well, it's dreaded down in the ass, mostly with Hannah for that burnt orange for that ochre sunset look as the sun sets behind the mosque in Mazar Sharif. Desert look. He wants her to go with that, huh? And she's loving it too. <laughs> <laughs>